inside for Robert Morris. Sends it high left to Matabani. Off the wing comes still. He'll penetrate down through the left lane. He'll flip a left-handed layup up and score with a nice slashing drive. But Matty McConnell gets his own rebound, and the Colonials will reset. Here comes Kayvon Stewart hopping down through the lane. Give off over to the right side to Still. Back to Stewart. He'll pull and fire from outside. Bank shot in. How about that bank shot? Kayvon Stewart, he's starting to turn that into his trademark, Jim. That was a bank shot. As he took a shot to the cheekbone down uh, during the games in Towson. And now a backdoor handoff. It's going to be Aaron Tate with a slam flush. About six weeks. Uh, it, it was bad. I mean, his face was black and blue. There's a steal. Came on Stewart. Dribble drive one on one. Bank shot on the lay it up and good. And Matt Donlin was on his back and fouled him on the play. And that time came on Stewart stripped court. Give it off to Isaiah Still. Up top to Billy Giles. Giles holding and giving off to Clive Allen now. Allen's going to shoot off the screen and hit a three. And Robert Morris is up 11 to 7 over YSU. He'll go behind the back and pull it back out to Stewart. Stewart at the point, drives into the foul circle, down into the lane. He'll weave, he'll fire a shot. It's nice. Kayvon Stewart with a little fader with the left hand. Yeah, he's going to get that shot, and he should be able to get it off. Because now to the right side wing, it'll go to Stewart. He'll drive inside again. This time he fumbled the handoff. Braden Burke finds it. Jump hook, right side, no good. Tap up, yes, Aaron Tate. Colonials are up 17-15. Again, France dribbles through the circle and tries to hand it to Kaufman. It's stolen by Braden Burke. Fast break, Colonials. Kayvon Stewart leading the charge. Drops it off to Deshaun Burke. He lays it up. Gets hammered to the floor, but the ball falls in good. And Robert Morris takes a 19-15 lead. Santiago finds Donlin. He'll try a three outside. No good. Rebound Tate out front. Kayvon Stewart, a three-on-three -three break. He'll hold up. Now he's going to slice down the left lane. He'll put up the shot and miss. The reversal on the putback. Aaron Tate. Oh, he likes to put the trash in the can, doesn't he? Now here's Still from Stewart. Still works outside left block. Goes to Lorenzen Wright. A three-point try there is go. good from the wing for Lorenzen Wright Jr. out of Memphis, Tennessee. The 6'3", 190-pound junior. Now that's what they brought him in for. He's a shooter. He hasn't shot very well this year. And clouds for Youngstown State. Now a running three back up the other way. And Matt Donlin trying to get YSU fans. I hope you know that. He, he watches uh, a lot of our games on front row when he's available. And now a long, deep three from the corner. Matt Donlin burying that. Hands of Ferguson. Fast break. Youngstown. Santiago to Donlin. Right wing. Three. Got it. That's where Donlin is. That's good when he shot that one. Now a steal. Came on Stewart. One on none. And the layup is up. And it is good. Came on Stewart. Puts the colonial by Stefan Rosic, who just came into the ball game. He's from Serbia. Now the kick over to the left side corner. Three-point shot. No good for Latin Davis. The rebound. Taken by the Colonials, stolen away by Braun Hartfield. He tried to lay it up, but he got punched out. Haven't been able to stop him, and so far tonight, keeping the score about where they want it. Here's a catch and shoot inbound play for it. Here's Isaiah still left side. Shot clock at six, game clock at seven, and a pass along the baseline to Tate over to the right side. Deshaun Burke, a three-point shot with 1.9 seconds left. He got it to go from the right side wing. Kayvon Stewart dribbles to the left, dribbles back to the right, passes to Matty McConnell. He'll skip into the lane, hand it off. Aaron Tate at the left block outside. A good assist by McConnell. Morris comes running left to right. Here comes Kayvon all the way down through, and he'll go right up into Kaufman's room. Raheem Williams comes dribbling in front of us. Right to left. Sends it over to France. Going to launch another three, and this time it's rimmed in good. And France, I thought, might have gotten fouled. Was hoping for the whistle and didn't blow. Tate saves the rebound. Ball is loose and now still sails through the lane. Turns to his right. Fires a hand. More shots. They have people that are very capable of scoring. It's Billy Giles inside the foul line. Lost the ball. Picked it back up. Goes to Deshaun Burke who drains a triple. Donlin's second personal team foul number three against YSU. It's Deshaun Burke. Over to the left side, Lorenzen right tries a triple. It's no good. Burke with the rebound underneath, bangs it into the floor, sends it up to the window, and banks it in. And he was getting tripped by Kayvon Stewart. That's going to be Stewart's second. Team foul five of the half. Again, a non-shooting foul. That gives Youngstown the lead, 48-47. Colonials with the ball. 
Over on the right side wing, Deshaun Burke comes into the foul line area, passes over to the left side, Lorenzen right for the triple he got it from the left wing, and a nice feed that time from Deshaun Burke on the penalty. Kayvon Stewart walks it up the floor with Aaron Tate. Kayvon cuts left, bounces left. Back to the basket at the left elbow as Braden Burke gives off, sets a screen for Lorenzo. Lorenzen right, he'll knock down a 19-footer, count that one for two, and Robert Morris leads. Deshaun Burke kept it alive. Colonials have it. Here's the drive down low. Isaiah still too hard up the window with Aaron Tate from the backside. Love comes in and gets the throw down. Clive Allen. Now to Matty McConnell to the foul circle. Back outside. Clive Allen for three. And he got it to zing in. Over the timeline. Davis Latin gets it to France. Now to Santiago up top. Santiago. Left. Of the top of the oh, key. Nice and a play. nice backdoor play. There's McConnell on the left wing. Comes around, gives off, and Giles will take it up and slam it down home on a beautiful give-and-go play from Matty McConnell. Robert Morris. Yeah, Youngstown is definitely executing their offense better than the Colonials. Here's Kayvon sliding through the lane, twisting to the left, firing a one-handed hook, and it's up and good, and he gets fouled on the play by Santiago as well. This came on Stewart speeding through the lane, kicks to the right corner, and Isaiah still just knocked down a three-point buzz bomb. For an entry pass, good defense inside the perimeter for the Colonials. Santiago with it on the outside. He's going to launch a triple, and he'll hit, and Youngstown reclaims the lead 70 to 69. The Colonials trailing by one. Here's Kayvon penetrating. Kicks to the left side corner. A double clutch move. Deshaun Burke with a nice pump up, and it's in. Deshaun Burke dribbles through the lane. Goes to Matty McConnell. He'll come to the baseline. Drops it off. Deshaun Burke with an underhand shot from McConnell. And the Colonials are up 73 to 70. Great pass by Matty McConnell. Another great finish. Deshaun gets open. And they're going to have Latin Davis run it over to the right side of Santiago. Devin Haygood with the ball to the right side corner. Donlin for three. He hit the bucket. He hit the three with 16 seconds left. And he got fouled on the play as well. The game will end with the Youngstown State Penguins winning it 75-74. The Colonials just could not get a clean shot off at the goal.